What's up guys, this is F and today I'm coming at you with another Black Ops 2 commentary and today I'm going to talk about knifing because as you can see I have some great knifing gameplay rolling in the background. This is some gameplay I got a couple of days ago when I actually at first tried out knifing, the ballistic knife, the uh, combat axe uh, and no secondary and no primary weapon or the secondary weapon is ballistic knife of course, but no shooting weapons whatsoever and I was really surprised about how good it was so I decided that I'm going to make a commentary about it and show you this gameplay as well as ex explain to you uh, what's the best way to knife and uh, the new features of Black Ops 2 when it comes to knifing first of all uh, something that has made knifing a lot easier especially when you're using ballistic knife and combat axe which the most knifers are doing is that you now automatically pick up uh, combat axes and your ballistic knife shots so you no longer have to press F or whatever key it is on Xbox to pick up the uh, equipment all you have to do is run over them and they will automatically be picked up so as you can see in some uh, some occasions in this gameplay I shoot like three shots against the same guy and miss them all and then I just run across the corpse and I get all the three of them back and this is very helpful if you don't have scavenger which I'm guessing actually is the best thing to have when you're playing with knife but I'm not sure why I didn't use it as I've said this is actually one of my first knife gameplays in Black Ops 2 so I haven't really looked into that much what's the best thing to use when you're knifing and I simply used what I thought would be good and as you can see on the perks I'm using the uh, ghost the uh, lightweight, the fast hands, dexterity and extreme conditioning and lightweight and extreme conditioning is of course something you must have uh, which means that you're big, you are able to run faster and longer which is very helpful if you're sneaking up behind someone and you want to be able to catch up with them and knife them in the back and as well if you're coming at the front uh, you don't want to run out of run energy and you have to walk towards them because then they will most likely shoot you and well fast hands is just something I like because uh, it's a bit like sleight of hand pro or actually it's quick draw pro is what I meant and it allows you to throw the grenades and the combat axe a lot faster which helps a lot because when you're knifing every millisecond counts and then dexterity for the uh, well faster mobility but dexterity is probably the perk that I would skip if I had to skip one of my perks uh, then ghost ghost is probably the most important perk the problem is that you won't unlock it until the final level at 55 but I still highly suggest that you use this if you're going to knife because uh, everyone is using UAV simple as that now that the game is new a lot of people are still using UAV and because Ghost is pretty hard to get at the highest level they know that the most people won't have it and therefore UAV is a very good idea um, and how Ghost works is that I'm not exactly entirely sure how, um, how it works but what I know is that when you're running or when you're moving you're uh, invisible to the enemy UAV but when you're standing still um, they will see you even though if you, even if you have ghosts so this does not work like assassin pro did in modern warfare 3 but I'm not entirely sure if you have to stand completely still or if you can still be camping and be seen but well that doesn't matter when you're knifing because when you're knifing you're running around so ghost is the perfect perk and especially when you're going to sneak up behind someone because as I said the most people use UAV and if you have uh, if you don't have ghosts they will see you coming and they will just turn around and shoot you and well the setup I'm using is simply the uh, concussion grenade I think and the uh, tomahawk I mean the combat axe and a ballistic knife you could change this up and use uh, uh, like double combat axes and such but then you have to uh, remove another perk um, well you can change this around like you want to but uh, this is my this is how I like to play and concussion is very good if you especially if you're coming at, from the front and so on just stun them and run around there because they, when they can't move their sight or they aim, their aim 
they won't be able to reach you even if even if you're coming from the front which is why concussion grenades is uh, great and for that it could be good it could be good to use scavenger as well since I'm only I'm not sure if I'm using one or two concussion grenades actually let me go through the I think I'm actually using only one concussion grenade but if you want to use more of them you should use scavenger or remove another perk as I said and you could actually skip the combat the, the combat axe if you want to because as the ballistic knife has four shots you can pretty much take anyone out with, that, with those but that's also your own uh, what you think about it and I prefer to use low score streaks when I knife because well I haven't knifed much but my experience is that it's not 100% reliable and it's pretty hard to get the high kill streak so I like to use the low ones like UAV, Hellstorm missile and the air strike, the lightning strike because as you can see I've got them a couple of times in this game and I think I go 32 and 4 which is not bad for an, on a newbie on knifing and I think there's only two kills when I, that I get with a gun and that was when I was trapped in a corner and luckily a mp7 was laying uh, below me so I could just uh, pick that up and take these two guys off but then I went back to yeah, some ballistic knife uh, killing and I really like this new theater mode or actually I have mixed feelings about theater mode because what I like is that as you can see I can now show the perks at the right side and if I want to I can put a scoreboard on the top and a like a na name on the uh, bottom left corner. There are some things I really don't like, like when I use my uh, lightning strike. Uh, it doesn't show when I, where I, when I choose the positions for the lightning strike. And uh, at the end, you can see both from the first round and from the final round, there's no kill cam and it's a bit glitchy. So I'm hoping they will patch the theater mode. And another thing is that I bookmarked this game. And uh, after the game was played, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's going to be in my bookmarked films or whatever it's called." But then I uh, played played a lot, and then today when I was going to find this gameplay, I noticed that my bookmarked films was completely empty, and I was like, "Fuck! Don't say I lost this game." But I went through my recent games, and I went back like 20 pages, and I found this game, and it was actually starred with a star, and it said a bookmarked and yet it did not show up in my bookmarked films so I have no idea if that's a glitch or if I did something wrong but it was pain in the ass to find it again but well luckily I found it um, well I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary make sure to leave a comment like and let me know what you thought about it as well as click the annotations on the end if you want to see some of our recent videos I'll see you the next time bye